Hey Virgos, welcome and welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for being here and showing your love and support. I really do appreciate it. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And make sure that your post notification bells are turned on. If for any reason that you are needing a personal reading, check the about section down below. Only those that have serious inquiries will be contacted. All right, so let's see what's going on, what we need to know currently for Virgo. Wow, so there's a lot going on apparently because these cards are flying everywhere. Okay, so there are at least two or three things that I picked up in the energy when I woke up. I heard slut shamed, lick, lick locked. It's lip locked, okay? So somebody could be tongue-tied or somebody could be saying something faster than they can speak it, all right? So I'm hearing slut-shamed and lip locked, okay? I also heard hibiscus. So those are the few things that I heard. We have page of swords. Somebody here maybe i heard the word inquisitive somebody is um thinking about you wondering what you're up to or stalking okay the six of wands i feel like whatever somebody's looking for or trying to sniff out when it comes to you it's not going to work so again we have the queen of cups four of wands in reverse the temperance the world and we have the tower okay so Scorpio Pisces Sagittarius fire sign and the queen of cups water sign cancer Scorpio Pisces so what I'm seeing here is a woman that may be upset bitter triggered troubled whoever this water sign is or whoever carries that sign in their chart there's a woman that's triggered emotional bitter um about something in regards to being released or someone not having a choice but to leave somewhere okay somebody's leaving somewhere unhappy I feel like it's due to conflict. Somebody could have had a rough morning leaving their house to go to work, to run errands, or whatever this is. I feel like there was some sort of confrontation or a screaming match that may have happened, or maybe there was a disagreement between two or more people. I do feel like something is coming to an end. Somebody could be arguing the fact that something is coming to an end. Something is ruined, okay? Because the world card is here. There's some sort of completion here to a cycle. I feel like there is an inner knowing or understanding of something. Because you've, you've searched for answers or you've concluded something is done or somebody did this to you. I feel like there's some sort of delay in regards to this tower. Whatever is supposed to change is being held back. The changes that are being held back is because somebody is the aggressor or somebody's in competition. Clearing up the queen of swords, we have strength in reverse. Somebody here does not have courage, strength, or yeah. Somebody does not have the courage or strength because they're not in the emotional state to do so. Somebody here will be disappointed, angry, sad, because of this tower. Somebody's gonna regret this tower moment. Okay, this could be your coworker, your boss. Mm. Your coworkers could be speaking amongst other people that you work with to get like the download on like how you're doing. If you are a new employee or you got a job through an agency 
I feel like the boss is checking in with your supervisor or other people that work with you, whether you're new or not, to see how you're doing. Okay, they want to see how you're developing and at what stage. The number is 516. Somebody could be seeing 1616. Tell me more about the strength card here. What is it that we need to know? Why is it in reverse to the Queen of Cups? The High Priestess. The High Priestess is in reverse to the Chariot. Somebody could be needing advisory from, you know, an authoritative person that works in the police department or legal team, okay? I feel like something is going on. Somebody is not aware or there's a secret or development in a potential case about a sexual harassment charge or somebody here being provoked by an ex or a friend, okay? You may not even know this person. I feel like somebody's coming forward with some sort of complaint or whatever this is. Whoever this Queen of Cups is here. The number seven could be significant. I feel like somebody's falling behind or somebody's frustrated because they can't keep up with something. Or something's not going in their favor. I feel like somebody's angry that they don't have control over a situation. What's this four of wands in reverse? We have the King of Cups. King of Cups in reverse talks about a uh, masculine energy that is holding back some type of feelings. Okay? This is somebody that wants to change the dynamic between the two of you. They want to come and see you. However, somebody here is holding on to their feelings and doing that. Yeah, they want to talk. But they feel like they don't know how to start this conversation because somebody's too immature or they're, they're just um, mentally youthful. So it's like they can't carry a, a conversation that holds substance or whatever this is. But somebody here may be discussing this over with a, um, a person that is a nurturer of a young child or children altogether. This could be their mother or somebody that has given birth to a child. I feel like somebody is conversing with their family, but a female to get a perspective from this female about the situation, or this could be their baby's mother, if this is um, for the masculine here. So I feel like there's somebody here may have canceled some type of reunion or coming towards you to celebrate or talk whatever this is somebody's in between what their mind tells them to do but there's going to be a risk that somebody should take because it looks like somebody can't stop thinking about something somebody here has an obsession or this is somebody that you have a soul tie connection with. Okay. There could be some sort of destructive pattern that somebody is not standing up to or someone. What's this temperance here? We have the Ace of Cups. The Seven of Wands. The Queen of Cups in reverse. And we have the Four of Swords. So again, the Queen of Cups is popping up again. But she's in the upright this time. I mean, actually, she's in the reverse. Both times in two different decks. So it looks like somebody's somebody knows of how they feel. Somebody's feeling fulfilled emotionally, spiritually. Somebody's at peace with their feelings. In regards to you or you to them. I feel like somebody likes what they do. They have um, clarity when they do what they do or who they are. I feel like these feelings are standing in someone's way. 
And these are feelings of fulfillment, like likeliness. Somebody here could have a crush on you or you have a crush on them. I feel like you're harboring feelings for someone that you're not telling. Because you feel bitter about the last situation you were in. I feel like somebody's been single for a long time and is ready for commitment or is commitment worthy. Okay, wifey material, hubby material. I feel like there's going to be some sort of quick communication or movement. Yeah. For a person that wants answers or they're coming to argue. Somebody could be coming in with passion. Okay. Heavily. Tell me more for this Eight of Wands. Okay, so the Four of Cups. I feel like you may not even feel the same way or vice versa. This person may not feel the same way if you're rushing in towards them. But at least you got to accomplish it. At least you got to see where it's at. Because the Six of Wands is here. I feel like somebody could be playing hard to get as the four of cups but really wants it six of wands what's the world card i'm getting somebody want to see you one last time what's this world card yeah somebody want to see you one last time before they proceed back to the third party or whatever this is we have the six of pentacles to the tower i feel like Somebody's going to come back to breadcrumb you or isn't giving you all that you're worth. Somebody's going to end up wasting your time and spirit is trying to shape or nudge you that somebody is coming in to do this. I'm getting three twice. So it looks like somebody needs to move forward in order to receive something or maintain new opportunities. Okay, somebody could be advanced in something. Somebody here that has a uh, physical, uh, a really handsome or beautiful physical feature, or this could be just them as a person. This person is coming towards you, okay? Somebody's heavily in this flirtatious energy. Somebody's trying to get your attention or you're trying to get theirs. What's the tower? Tower card here in reverse is the king of wands. Somebody exploring the need to um, do something. Or maybe somebody's interest or focus is on being productive in whatever way this is. This king of wands may work with this queen of pentacles. Or this king of wands is sending this king of swords information. Or maybe this is like a test run. This this. King of Swords is possibly sending in this King of Wands to come towards you to see how you respond to the situation. Okay? Okay, what is this King of Swords looking for? What is this King of Swords looking for? Some sort of information that you're not giving this King of Wands. Yeah. I feel like somebody's like, shit, damn, crap. I was looking for information. I was looking for audio. I was looking for a visual. And I came up short. Virgo, you're not biting the bait to something that a person is trying to um, trap you with. Okay? This is now piquing someone's interest to give to you. Okay? Not even this king of swords thought that they were going to fail at whatever mission they thought they were going to perfect. But it looks like you're getting justice. Okay. I don't know if silent justice is a thing, but we have silent justice here. Somebody here is being blocked. Or someone feels blocked. From something somebody may be trying to um, trap a person or set them up somebody is being called to talk or discuss something or whatever this is and it looks like somebody could be betrayed lied to manipulated or attacked 
Somebody could feel attacked right off the bat by this devil. Okay? Somebody here is angry at a person, whether this is their mother or a mother figure or whatever this is. A female. Anyway. Virgo, let's see what's going on. We have July. So this could be an event or somebody in particular, like a Cancerian, okay? I feel like in the month of July, someone here could be successfully overcoming a problem financially. So somebody could be going through um, having to be frugal. We have June, clouds, and mountain. So in the month of June or when it comes to a Gemini, there are temporary problems that needs to be rectified, okay? At the bottom of the deck, this has to do with a young woman, or you could be the young woman, or the, the third party is the young woman. Success assured with good plans and hard work is significant. You are protected from harm through this spiritual guide, okay? This person can cannot hurt you. Okay, we have great happiness. We have Tiger doing something, taking a chance. And we have Diamond, you will be receiving a precious gift. I feel like this could be an opportunity, some type of commitment on paper or verbally or through a ring or whatever this is. At the bottom of the deck, we have seahorse. It says family matters. So something is going on with family or with a family member. Success assured with good plans and hard work seems to be good news. Something is moving in the right direction, even if that means it's slowly happening so whoever this uh gemini or this event that's coming about in june there is a major challenge to overcome what is this here the major challenge to overcome is some sort of injustice okay somebody here gave you something or is trying to give you something to plop in your lap so that you take the fall for something here. I feel like somebody's abusing some sort of spiritual um, commitment or something like that. Somebody here could be giving you a false opportunity or somebody could be giving you a gift so that you will lose your spiritual awakenings or enlightenment, your focus, your faith. Yeah, this is somebody that's targeting you because of what you know to be true. Somebody's mad that you have uh, that you have fans, haters, all in one. Somebody's mad that you got attention, period. Okay? And you could create something out of nothing. Somebody's like, damn, what, what is up with your brain? The number 11 could be significant here. Somebody hates the fact that you're coming into a love connection. That this person likes you. They don't even have to be all over you. But this person gets aroused or starts to smile let's see what's going on what do we need to know okay so we have queen b secure confident boss bitch career focus i'm telling you somebody is trying to de-strengthen you or distract you with things that could cause chaos and conflict this is this jezebel energy okay i feel like 
you and this person were never friends or you could have been at least cordial towards this individual somebody could be into you because of your good chemistry vibe and positive enforcement we have clout hungry so somebody's trying to cause a problem to film it or to have some type of audio to use it to gain clicks clicks and likes somebody will say anything and do anything to make shit up to cause drama we have fake smile i feel like you don't do the fake you're too real to do fake and you do not allow fake people into your energy okay you can tell a fake person a mile away that's trying to get screenshots on some false shit pretending they have nothing to do with it just to backstab you all because you do not want to uh, associate yourself with this person anymore somebody's angry somebody's angry that they can't force you to do anything that you do not feel is right or that you don't want to do yep somebody's threatened by a romantic connection or someone that's thinking about you romantically because they know that it's coming i said this This person has never been able to get over you if this is a past person. But I feel like you might need to ignore this person because they have something whether they know it or not. Somebody has a STI, a rash, or some sort of breakout that leads to a sexually transmitted infection or disease. Okay, so let this person do their big one. And try to keep this this individual because anything that this person got that wants to come into a romantic connection with you, you don't want it. Even if that means they're a twin flame. I'm telling you, being celibate may at times make you feel lonely. May at times make you feel like you want that little itch that you want scratched but it'll ground you i promise you we have a change a change and bereavement something from the past or that's related to a person from the past is significant somebody here could be trying to become a better person okay we have court. So there's some sort of legal proceedings document or situation that's coming up for you, Virgo. I do feel like um, you could be speaking to someone's character or going on the stand to um, just reiterate what may be happen happening. Or there's something with the, the courts or the government that's going to uh, give you some sort of high honor for what you've done. Somebody is a hero. Or did put their life on the line and did something or somebody here is being recognized for what they do look I heard good fortune somebody's gonna be rewarded with something that is worth money okay this could be a home I feel like if you have some type of legal documents or con contracts or whatever needs to be signed with your name on it you're going to be highly honored to receive something okay i heard that's the icing on top of the cake somebody could be born september 23rd or the 25th we have a journey so i don't know if you're going to see somebody or somebody's coming to see you but i feel like there is someone overseas that may be waiting for their ships to come in or your ships are coming in from a distance, okay? I feel like this is somebody that you would consider a friend and not an enemy here. This person is coming to your home or you're going to theirs, okay? But I feel like it's not on no, no sweet shit. Somebody's going to flatter you to make you feel like they're doing something nice for you but they're not and you they don't scare you whatever tactics they're rolling with it actually is going to anger you okay i feel like somebody's pushing buttons 
or somebody could be coming towards you with some type of anger we have home house so i feel like somebody here is coming into some type of love connection or someone is going to be living with their significant other or whatever this is somebody could be spending the weekend with you even i feel like this is something that you're not going to expect so somebody's gonna catch you off guard by coming to your home okay i feel like you are the rich girl and they want to complete the cycle with you but this is a bad gentleman or somebody's doing something with bad intentions I feel like this does not allow somebody to be flattering. The numbers 10 and 20 could be significant. Let's see. What's the message here? What is it that we need to know? Okay, so we have soulmate in the upright very soon in reverse. Lessons in the upright. Celebration in the reverse. And awakening in reverse. At the bottom of the deck, we have contemplation. So somebody's contemplating or thinking heavily about a decision or something that they want to do, but they're not really sure. I feel like somebody is going to be releasing a karmic partner or someone that they share a past life tie to that doesn't want to separate. I feel like you're having a, a very hard time releasing or unlinking yourself because somebody does not want you to leave their energy. Okay, they don't want to have to go through mourning this connection or this is you here. So you definitely have a soulmate or a divine connection that you're coming into or that you're a part of. Okay, I feel like something here could be delayed. Whatever was supposed to be very soon coming in, it's delayed. Why? We have within the next few weeks, something is being pushed back for whatever reason. Somebody had something marked on their calendar, but I feel like something else got in the way or something needs um, much more attention than what was supposed to take place. Whatever's coming up within the next few weeks, you might have to reject why oh somebody here could be trying to come to get you pregnant or telling you some sort of news about um pregnancy or a blessing somebody could be coming into a new opportunity here and wants to um take you with them to celebrate but i feel like this is somebody that's not on any type of journey spiritual journey doesn't even know their soul's purpose Okay, you are needing to release this. Rejection and release is very significant here. Do not allow somebody into your home. Four of Wands is what's here. Or back into your life. So we have lessons, self-development, self-growth. Somebody needs to just work on themselves and stand firm and grounded on their spiritual journey. We have celebration in reverse, so I feel like somebody here may not be able to celebrate or whatever this is. Somebody could be getting bad karma for something that took place. I feel like something could be revoked from a person or whatever this is. What's the celebration in reverse? We have romance in reverse. Somebody around you could have bad karma and you being around this person may make you have bad karma. Okay, somebody with bad karma does not want you to level up romantically. Okay, this is somebody that's not a part of your friend group. This could be a family member. Or some. I heard somebody socially.
somebody could be trying to cut you off from you even getting to know this person this could be a aries leo sagittarius that's telepathically using connections of that sort to keep you away from something that you're supposed to be fulfilled about in regards to a water sign cancer scorpio pisces We have awakening in reverse, so somebody could be losing spiritual s s foresight or s insight on something, or somebody is unawakened altogether. I'm telling you, somebody is going through some sort of spiritual warfare here. Or somebody's not allowing themselves to be awakened to have this marital situation because of this fire sign. Somebody could be leaving a fire sign in some sort of contract. Or this could be a past life marriage to a fire sign that somebody does not want you to be awakened enough to leave this person for this water sign. Somebody does not want you to prioritize a water sign here. Let's see what this person is thinking or feeling. Message for Virgo. This person wants to know when they'll see you again. They're looking for any excuse to bump into you. Okay. I wonder if you're happy without me. I remember every detail of that day. I want to be more than friends. Can I get one more? Okay, so we have an extra message. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you, and you and I were too young, or this could mean that y'all were too immature to start anything. At the bottom of the deck, this person looks for you everywhere. I'm also seeing they replay conversations in their head over and over. I've never met someone like you. Message for Virgo. So we do have fate. So there's a fated event that could happen or somebody here could be a... Um, high priest or priestess I feel like somebody could be interested in getting a reading watching readings or learning tarot altogether I do see here that there's a faded meeting where you will not be on your own you're gonna have company for some of you I feel like some of you are going to release being overloaded and resolve this by having good company around okay or somebody is going to be around you that is fun Okay. That keeps you engaged. Keyword engaged. So we have loss. The numbers 10 and 13 could be significant. Somebody here is sad because you're leveling up at every chance that you get. It's like you're coming into some type of luck that they can't stop. And they did not want the attention to be on you. But you seem to be reaching each and every single one of your goals here. And they're sad they can't compromise that. Because if they do, they're just racking up more karma and sacrificing themselves for you to gain profit from everything that they're trying to do. So they're like, I have to stop while I'm at it. Because if I keep going at it, I'm going to look like a bigger idiot, allowing you to win, okay? But for some of them, they've looked like the idiot their whole life. Spirit is telling you to stop stressing here about something, whether it's money, job, or whatever this is. You're going to be taken care of, okay? I feel like you no longer have to worry about things happening and, you know, um, crashing and burning everything that you're trying to build up. I feel like you've had enough nightmares, okay? Because somebody was cursing you. 
every time somebody sees that you are in a peaceful and un unraveling stage it's like they try to stop you but they can't stop you you are unstoppable I'm seeing 333 three, three. whatever it is that you're doing stay the course it's all going to make sense. It's happening for you. Okay, so we have gain. So you could be losing out on an opportunity or missing some sort of like profitable situation. I feel like somebody here could go to jail for um, taking something that is profitable to you here for some of you. Or this is you. Somebody here could feel stuck, stuck in a rut because they're unable to receive something. But I feel like whatever good deeds that you have done will allow you to carry out some sort of justice or judgment. I feel like somebody could be feeding you bad advice or getting you to disobey something. And making it look like you're gonna do you're gonna gain from it, but you're not. I feel like somebody's trying to keep you trapped through doing this. Clarify coach and merit making. We have justice, I'm telling you. These people that have um blindfolded you in information that you were supposed to know or told you to do things that you weren't supposed to do, making you pay for things, give them bribes, money, and profits. I'm telling you. Just to keep you in a non-committal situation, this could be business-wise. They're gonna they're gonna face judgment, judgment day. They're gonna have to apologize for keeping you in the dark and having you face certain times by themselves just to take away from you. I'm telling you, everything that they try to do to you is going in the reverse. And they're gonna be the ones agitated and irritated. Because they ask is fake and phony. You're going to be the one reserving a spot to receive your blessings here. Somebody could also be seeing 1111. So there's a new beginning that's taking place. We have goals, I'm telling you. What's the message? What is it that we need to know for Virgo? We have a mask. Somebody's not showing true feelings, hiding, personifying, pretending, deluding, gaslighting. Yeah, I feel like there's a sudden change or shocking news that's going to come as a surprise for you, okay? That somebody's working on themselves Somebody's coming in to chase you because they can't help themselves. They're addicted. We have coffin. So endings bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, and transition 1111. You are needing to close out any sorts of affairs that does not serve you in a higher light or a bit better way. I feel like you're no longer chasing anything but healing and and progressing there is some sort of engagement that could be happening in regards to a partnership commitment engagement or something that you're complying to but i feel like spirit is saying keep that on the hush hush keep something private and hidden from the world we have girl talk in reverse so I don't feel like you're including other people in trying to use them as, um, you know, support to get a away from or stop thinking about someone or something. Somebody could be like painfully, emotionally single. Somebody's having a hard time with the single life or doesn't really care for it too much. Remember I talked about celibacy? Celibacy will teach you to ground yourself. 
we have the golden mirror in reverse so somebody here is um uh, somebody's trying to change their their momentum or their mo somebody is not self-absorbed narcissistic one silent i feel like somebody wants to balance the scales okay somebody wants to come to have closure this is a karmic soulmate here I feel like you're no longer heartbroken. You're healing from something. You're not allowing these um, deep, dark emotions to take over you, okay? You're not running away from your mistakes or your, your past situations. I feel like you are going to go through a paradise where you are happy, expanding, having joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying something. There is a wedding ring. Okay, there's some sort of commitment or potential of love that's showing up. This is beautiful. Let's see here. So we have feminine energy. Somebody could be pregnant or wanting you to be pregnant or somebody's ready to expand their family. If you're in a relationship, I feel like somebody here is going to find out that they're pregnant um trying for pregnancy or whatever this is okay or there's something involving children that you could be a part of it looks like somebody here could be gossiping talking about you or shading you here Okay, so we have hopeful. So I feel like you're doing a lot of manifesting, hoping, wishing, praying, yearning for inspiration, optimism, and success. I feel like you're going to gain some type of epiphany or aha moment about the things that you want. Maybe de be delusional about uh, that you that you may be delusional about, or maybe you're imagining the person that you want to be wrapped up with. Yeah, sipping seems to be coming out. So you have an ex or someone that's a part of your past that you no longer speak about or talk to. This person feels like you're isolating yourself or you you just don't want to be a part of the club or the group. That you're separating or segregating yourself. You're not nurturing them. You're not giving your energy to this person. You're nurturing yourself. Somebody feels like you're um, two-faced for that. Okay? But you're rather healing as you should. And releasing anybody that does not align in your plans. We have possibilities. So this is missing out on opportunities or a lack of possible um, outcome. Somebody is not following their dream or making up their mind. Somebody's indecisive about some stuff that they need to get rid of because they're building up baggage. I feel like last night or for the last few weeks, somebody's been going through having to make up their mind about something, whether this is both of you, just you or this person. Somebody could be at a distance from you, wanting to be with you, taking you on a trip, but there's been a lot of tension, built up tension. Somebody is definitely not focusing on healing or uh, taking care of themselves. I feel like somebody is holding their breath or trying to hold on to not indulging in lustful energies. Okay, so we have paranoid and chaos so it looks like somebody here is extra cautious could be stalking watching insecure or guarded somebody that's paranoid I feel like is getting over some type of chaos I feel like something is no longer concealed or hidden about a friend a significant other a neighbor 
or whatever this is. What are we finding out about these people? That they're doing something illegal or they don't have the best of intentions. And I feel like somebody's trying to make sure that whatever their intentions are, that you don't know the details about it. They're trying to delay this. I feel like if somebody's trying to apologize, they're going to come with insincere or rash actions to do so. I feel like somebody doesn't want you to release them because they're having issues and that leads you to put up your boundaries to these karmics. You got somebody that's addicted to some type of destructive patterns. I heard fascist, F-A-S-C-I-S-T-S. I don't know what that's about, but that's what I heard. We have abundance in the upright at the bottom of the deck. So something is a go when it comes to your career, money moves, or what you're investing in. I feel like this brings you some sort of high-leveled spirits or energy. Somebody here could have taken something to boost their energy or keep them going throughout the day. Or somebody is just very healthy. We have determination. So I feel like somebody lacks willpower, courage, or strength to do something. Okay, it's something that's unbalancing in your energy. I feel like you need to reject anything that's going to break your focus or your emotional state. Okay, but I feel like you're not afraid of whatever this is here. Okay, we have space. So it looks like you may need some time to kind of wrap your head around something or maybe you're looking into getting like space for your, your spa, your business or whatever this is maybe you're spending a lot more time with other people or maybe by yourself even maybe you're looking for clarity i feel like you have nothing to worry about when it comes to your foundation your success your your business your money you don't have to worry We have abundance in reverse now. I feel like somebody's in a negative balance in their their abundant energy, their money, their bank account. Or this is somebody that lacks giving gratitude for the little or big things that they get. I feel like somebody is not allowing fear to um, have a, a effect from them being protected. I feel like you're being protected from fear. But somebody's um, unbalanced and in isolation because of some sort of conflict. Whether you're creating this conflict yourself or somebody is doing this for you. I feel like you're not afraid. You're not supposed to be afraid because you are divinely protected. Okay? Somebody cannot hurt or harm you. Okay? Whatever magic that somebody is using or infiltrating on you, it's like it's going right back to them. It could person... It could... Uh, partially paralyzed somebody is what I heard and somebody's not even going to realize it that's why unbalance is here somebody wanted you to be paralyzed or partially indifferent within your yourself but you were protected against this magic that somebody thought was going to affect you in a harmful way yep I told you look this is what could possibly happen to someone, but somebody just allowed you to level up in your ranking spiritually, okay? I'm hearing that song by by um, Chris Brown featuring Joyner Lucas, I Won't Die. Somebody thinks that you will die here. You are immortal. You won't die. Even if your, your body goes into, you know, shutting down, you won't die. Okay, you won't die. Your soul still remains 
you won't die. All this unbalancing energy that somebody's sending you, it's like that gives you more passion to keep striving for. I'm telling you, somebody cannot hurt or harm you. No blood shall drip from your body. And if it does, it's somebody's life. I'm telling you. Don't fuck with a chosen one, is all I'm saying. Somebody should be very afraid. Very afraid. Message for Virgo. Okay, so we have healing in reverse. So somebody here is not focusing on healing something. Okay, this could be their heart chakra. We have compassion in third eye. So I feel like you see the compassion that somebody has that you want to give to them in this time of um, going through stages of a lack of healing. Or this is you. I heard Dominican. Somebody here could be Dominican or going to the Dominican Republic or lives there. Okay, so we have injustice and renewal. Somebody here is trying to recreate injustice for you in some way, shape, or form. Okay, somebody's sparking new ideas on how to do this. And it looks like you need to reach out to your spiritual guides or gain help to rescue other people that could be going through injustice or whatever this is. I feel like you're not allowing someone to come back into your life. This could be a false soulmate or twin flame. Somebody lacks spiritual um, paths and is unawakened. This could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or this person has that sign in their chart. I feel like you detaching from someone just shows you how much of a trash person that they were to you or how they treated you or what you may have needed to discard of them for. Or somebody is talking shit about you, which is why you are needing to leave someone in the dust. Yeah, because somebody is slut shaming you or whatever this is. You may be into like um, public display of affection or whatever this is because I got lip locked yeah somebody's just mad they're petty I feel like there's an unexpected commitment that's popping up when it comes to a love connection I feel like you're going to gain some type of fulfillment okay but I do see here that there is a lack of abundance, gifts, or celebration. Somebody here could be trying to get into a love connection with you so that you can uh, give them something. They're trying to gain something from this. Look, fate and denial. Somebody is not facing some type of truth about someone's intentions that um, it's like they premeditated this situation. I feel like you need to tap into your third eye to see what's going on something is going to crush you you're going to be the one feeling sad or broken because somebody is deliberately trying to cut, get into your energy to take from you to gain fulfillment for themselves i feel like you should not give somebody an, another chance whether they were a friend or a lover to you do not give somebody another chance to do you wrong okay yeah I feel like there is a false feminine that wants to bring in some sort of like offer towards you. Yep. This is a third party. So this could be a friend of a past person or somebody's person from your past. I feel like there is no communication or action of this person trying to apologize in the present why because he 
he has a family or he or she has a family. They're in some type of commitment. And they're trying to hide this as much as possible. This is why they rejected you. Somebody can't control the dynamic of this situation because of this past person. This past person's um, significant other or whatever this is. We have consented. Somebody consented to an open marriage to teach somebody a lesson. We have abundance, prosperity, and power. We have crown chakra binding work. Yeah, somebody's crown chakra binding an individual in order to keep them. I heard you're blowing things out of proportion. Somebody here is definitely digging up your past. Okay, this could be a super or a landlord that's digging up your past here. We have the fall. We have the nightclub or nightlife. We also have twin flame connection. It don't matter what the super or landlord thinks they're going to find. They ain't going to find shit. Except what you tell them. Okay, we have angelic beings. We have ancestors or spirit guides are sending back some type of spell that somebody's kids will face the wrath of your ancestors. Okay? Because somebody is submitting documents to have you sent away, but you were born where you live at. In the state where you live at, you were born there. So how could somebody try to send you away? You're not um, getting deported or anything like that. Or somebody could be trying to deport someone close to you or to have something taken away from you. Okay? Somebody here has a sex addiction. Or is going through therapy for this. Or somebody's talking about a person that may have gone through an addiction of that kind in your family. message for Virgo so we have danger technical difficulty so somebody's um, tech items may be uh, crashing or something could happen to it we have confidence boost murder case open I told you the other day I smelt blood okay and I feel like you could be the witness or somebody witnessed something and tipped and, and tipped this off to a government spy or investigator. Spirit is telling you to mind your own business. Don't get involved in something. We have fingerprints. Incarcerated but a changed person, a mess braid my hair so somebody that has hair long enough to braid could be in could be in jail or held against their will I heard revelation so something is coming to the forefront somebody knew about what is going on just as guilty the truth will come out I told you revelation on the run Somebody could have escaped where they could have been held. You have bill collector, counseling session, inappropriate encounter with a licensed physician. We have lost wallet or money, obsession, sex without protection, put it on my tab, run away from the scene. Run away came out twice. 
nervous system, brain, or cerebrum. We have bothered. Find another way out of your problem. So somebody's trying to, um, you know, figure out a way to get out of a situation. And we have identical twin. We have menopause. And we have um, government information that is classified that will be sealed. Somebody cannot get or harbor any sorts of information that is vital to you for it to be leaked in any way because it's in reverse okay so it looks like somebody here could have had a near-death experience or somebody could have been flatlined and then revived okay anyway virgo that's what i have here for your current messages hopefully it resonates if it does be sure to like comment and subscribe and as always stay blessed and i will see you guys in the next one